try a Welcome to Sunrise River Gallery. Never done this, but I thought, you know what the heck, let's, let's do a little tour of the place. So I'm gonna grab this camera and, and walk you around and maybe talk a little bit as we go. We'll give just a big overview of the gallery first. It's a pretty cool space. We've been open about a month and a half now. So it's pretty cool. We got lots of great art. Uh, much of this stuff, we've got lots of photos that range from local shots to scenery to beautiful flowers, all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, it's a pretty eclectic mix of, of art around here. So as we go, we're going to come over here, take another quick spin around. Starting over here, so I'm Jim, Jim Elias, and, and a lot of these paintings and things are mine. And I'm set up, I'm gonna be painting here in a little bit. Uh, got some great light coming in from the front window. That's sort of a makeshift studio set up there. And, and that's where we're gonna be doing some work on what I'm calling grandpa's, grandfather's Holland. My great grandfather painted this picture in black and white in 1890 something passed away in 1897 as a young man uh, here's some other paintings that i've done here is an incredibly cool sculpture from santos bueno i'd love for you to come in and see it it's pretty neat stuff uh some some close up on uh my joy springs trout stream picture it's pretty cool stuff We've got some sunflowers. We've got a poppy, Pamela Gears, another artist who has some illustrations in here. We've got uh, some paintings by Letitia Posey. Paintings and posters and bookmarks, all kinds of good, cool graphic design stuff. There is another one of Santos's sculptures. This is the Velociraptor. We've got more. More paintings here. Here's some more work of Letitia Posey's. So she's got some really cool abstract graphic design sorts of paintings, some prints of some owls she'd done. Uh, this space back here and kind of in the, the, the back wall is empty, right? We're gonna load that up with some student art as we get going later this spring we're going to do some shows with some local high school students uh, give them an opportunity to showcase their work so this space will be geared for them here's a couple of Letitia's posters which I think are just really cool graphic design there is Mark Twain and there's the the Sunrise River Bridge that's the Becky Bridge here in Muscatine and it's some really cool stuff. Uh, so that's sort of our signature mark here at the gallery is the Becky Bridge because we like to showcase the, the local scenes of Muscatine. So here's a print of the small paintings of the Becky Bridge that I had done along with some springtime tulips as I was working on Grandpa's Holland. I decided I needed it. A reprieve and do some beautiful colored tulips so I did that we've got some shell art by a local artist CP Anderson who actually if you know the history of Muscatine it's the was the pearl button capital of the world and Shells were harvested, clam shells harvested from the Mississippi River, button blanks punched and turned into buttons, pearl buttons. And what Mr. Anderson has done is he goes out and he finds these button blanks. These are 100 year old button blanks, popped out of a shell like these. He finds them, makes jewelry, he makes sculptures, and lastly, I guess I want to just kind of feature this, the Sunrise River, Sunrise Becky photograph. Uh, it's really pretty incredible. I'm getting lights on there. It's bad, bad look. There we go. 
little better. As many of you may remember, Mark Twain once wrote about the beautiful sunsets on the Mississippi River from Muscatine. And then he ends his statement about, I understand the sunrises are equally as beautiful, but I do not know. Mark Twain was not a morning man. So anyway, that's a quick, maybe not so quick, six minute tour of Sunrise River Gallery. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you come and see us around sometime. Buy some art. <laughs>